What's up guys, Shane Sarns with Droid Motor X here. The HTC One M9 is one of my favorite phones when it comes to design. It has that awesome aluminum body with those really cool front facing speakers. Where it falls flat, of course, is the camera, which has been improved with updates and Sense 7. So Sense 7 is probably one of my least favorite Android skins, but I have good news for you. CyanogenMod 12.1 has finally been unofficially released for the HTC One M9. We're gonna take a look at this ROM right now. Let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so I was starting to think that CyanogenMod 12.1 would never arrive for the HTC One M9. It's still not here for the Galaxy S6. I, once again, this is an unofficial build, so we'll go into settings, and we will go into about phone. This is Android version 5.1.1 and CyanogenMod 12.1. They actually just came out with a new build today, which should eliminate some more of the bugs. Uh, the only main bugs here are the fact that the camera doesn't work, and then there's no USB OTG support. Other than that, the ROM should be working awesome, should be working pretty much perfect. So here is the CyanogenMod Easter Egg. As you guys can see, the ROM moves nice and fluid. There's lots of performance optimizations as well as battery tweaks. You guys can see the CyanogenMod app drawer there. And basically this just gives you an AOSP experience on your HTC One M9. We'll pull down our notification panel. This has a built-in feature for quick pull down, which is nice so that you can easily get to your toggles without having to use two fingers and without having to pull down twice. So that's a nice built-in feature. Of course, if you pull up your recents, you're gonna get a search bar in your recents and you have a clear all option right there in your recents as well. Uh, new in this build 12.1 is the adaptive brightness Basically what it does, if you toggle it on, it optimizes the brightness level of your screen according to available light. So if you're out in the sun, it's going to boost your brightness. If you're inside, it's going to lower your brightness. This helps with battery life and it actually works really well. And then if we go down here, there's an option to enable double tap to sleep. So if you double tap the screen or the notification bar, if you're like in an application or if you're in a menu, then it allows you to turn off the screen without having to press this oddly placed power button. Okay, there's also a new option here for an expanded desktop. You can choose an application that you want to expand the desktop. So uh, say you wanted to hide the status bar uh, whenever you go into your browser, it gives you just a little more screen real estate when you're in your browser. Okay, of course there's the options that we're all familiar with. There's lock screen options. You can change your lock screen type and add lock screen shortcut. Okay, there's a new option here, the display music visualizer. It just gives you an animation to go along with the music that you're currently playing. It shows up on your lock screen. It looks pretty neat. It's for aesthetics only. It doesn't really add anything to the experience other than just something cool to look at. Uh, whenever you're on your lock screen and listening to music. If you go into the buttons, you have lots of options to change up your nav bar here. You also have some options to enable things in your power menu. So if you long press the power button, it brings up your power menu. You can actually take away things and add things there. And then you have all kinds of options uh, to actually program your volume keys uh, to do things like wake up the device and uh, skip tracks. Okay, if we scroll down to status bar, you can change the clock style, I like mine in the center. You can also change your battery style, I like mine text. Okay, you can add uh, brightness control in your status bar. So if you slide your finger across the status bar, it changes the screen brightness. And you can choose to show notification count. Okay, and then in the notification drawer, you have a couple of options here. There's the quick pull down option that I was telling you about earlier. You can change which side that the quick pull down is accessible from. Okay, you can also change your quick settings tiles. So you have an option here to change the actual quick setting tiles there. And those are the tiles that are displayed here. You do have some signage and mod wallpapers. And of course you have a signage and mod boot animation. So the main feature here is basically the fact that you're able to run an AOSP version of Android. You're no longer having to run the Sense 7 skin. It's just really gonna clean up your device, get rid of all that bloatware, free up some space on your storage, and also just give you an overall better performing device. We guys, that about wraps it up for the signage of my 12.1 video for the HC one M nine. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.